card. 2. Now make it. Hey guys, welcome to Art2. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about helping you sell your art on print-on-demand platforms like Redbubble. And in today's video, we're talking about apps that you can use on the iPad to create designs. And we're going to break it down into a couple categories, drawing, photography, and typography. So let's get into it. So it's no secret that one of the most popular apps on the iPad for drawing is Procreate. Procreate is used by so many artists to create designs on Redbubble and other platforms. It has tons of brushes, tons of tools that you can use to create your designs and at an affordable price point. Another good thing about using Procreate is that because so many people use it, there's tons of tutorials online and you won't have trouble understanding how this program works with those tutorials. So Procreate certainly comes at the top of the list when it comes to drawing apps. Another program that comes in close is Affinity Designer. I'd say it's like number two on iPad for designing and uh, it's a really great program at this price point. So coming in at number three is Adobe Draw. Adobe Draw might be part of your Adobe Suite, so you already have it if you pay for their service. And it's one of the more popular iPad drawing apps also because it's an Adobe product. People might be familiar with some of the layout and styles from previous products. Again, the top three programs are all paid programs, but they have all the tools, brushes, everything you need to create your print-on-demand designs. Okay, so let's get into the photography apps. Okay, so Pixelmator Pro 2.0 is one of the best photo editing apps that you can find for iPad, not only because you can edit photos with so many settings and tools, but you can also do drawing, so it's two in one. Basically, if you're looking for a program that you can do some photo editing and also draw, you might want to take a look at Pixelmator. It's a great program and uh, it's not very expensive. It's a pretty affordable program that does so much. So that's why I hardly recommend this in uh, the first place when you're looking for a photo app on iPad. Try this program, it's really great. But do keep in mind that when you do the drawing on uh, Pixelmator, that it's not gonna be the same as some of the other programs that we discussed previously. Those are full-fledged drawing programs. This one's sort of a two-in-one and the bonus of having the drawing program included is that little extra that puts this program up above the uh, competition in the photo app space. And guys, when I was selecting these programs, I was also looking for programs that you didn't have to go with a subscription because I noticed that a lot of the programs that uh, had a lot of features were also subscription-based programs that ended up costing more than if I can just buy like a one-time app. And uh, I wanted to be able to just pay for the app and not have a subscription. So that's something that you have to keep in mind when you get iPad apps is that some of them have subscriptions or they have a lot of ads and it's distracting and just not uh, the same experience as paying for one of these apps that is all encompassed and ready for you to go and be creative with. Actually, the next app is free. It's from Google. It's called Snapseed. It's a program that's available on iOS or Android and it has so many features for a free program and being from Google, it uh, is definitely a worthy uh, addition to your Redbubble tools that you want to use for creating uh, photography art, definitely download Snapseed. Okay, so the next category we're going to talk about is typography. I actually use some of the other programs that we just mentioned in this video uh, for typography and overlay them over my designs, or I will go into Canva. I have a Canva Pro account, which allows me to do transparent backgrounds and things along those lines. So when I do t-shirt designs, uh, I if I'm doing strictly uh, text then I will go into Canva and use Canva as my only app for those types of designs. So basically these are all the programs that I use on iPad to create designs for Redbubble and other print-on-demand websites. I've had good luck with some of the features that are available in these programs when I've transferred my ideas into designs and been able to sell them on other print-on-demand platforms. Uh, so they're very easy to export your pictures. Everything just works perfectly. If you guys are looking for apps uh, for Android, I'll try to make another video uh, for the Android apps, which uh, I do also use an Android tablet for some designs. So if you guys want to know more about Android apps, that'll be another video that I'll make another day. But if you guys enjoy this type of content, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And if you hit the like button, you help us get found in the YouTube algorithm. We're constantly putting up content on how to make money with print on demand talking about sites like Redbubble, designed by Human Society 6. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll be back with more videos soon. And in the meantime, have a great day, guys.